Hey, what's good? Title Sugar House, Kylie here. Today I'm gonna take you guys through a core workout. Core burn, lots and lots and lots of core. We will have some boxing moments in there, but really just to emphasize core a little bit more and to add some cardio in there. So some of the things you might need, hand weights at one point in time, we'll be doing like a power striking portion focusing on snapping from the hip into the oblique, that side ab. Um, if you don't have hand weights, you can hold like some hand sanitizing wipes. You can hold your water bottle, anything. Anything that feels good to hold in the sense of first striking. Um, at one point in time, we'll also do rainbows. So whatever you're holding, you can kind of use that. If you have a medicine ball for that portion, that will work. Really anything, anything to add weight. You could even hold like a bag of rice or a bag of beans. So we're gonna get our warm up going. Let's have some fun today, yeah? Let's see, five minutes for the warm up. We're just gonna start with some hip rotation. So feet fairly forward. We're just rolling around. You're gonna switch every five. So you're gonna roll one direction. After that fifth one, you're gonna kick it back. I want you focusing on pushing your butt back on that first roll. Push back, loosen up the hip. Push, push, push all the way around. Try to just open up your hips kind of the glute area into the hamstrings, a little more in each one. Let's go for about 10 more seconds here. Rotations, hands can be up. That seems to be my go-to is to just keep my hands in nice and tight. Let's go for three, two, one. Good, torso twist, rotating side to side. You can pivot the opposite heel in that direction that you're sliding to if you want. Optional, we're just trying to loosen up the low back. Lots of core rotation today. We wanna make sure that low back is nice and loose. All right, extend the arms, let them fly. Wherever you wanna reach. You can reach straight across. You can reach up. You can reach down low. You can mix and match them, literally. One of my favorite things, I love doing the four corners. Up, up, down, down. Let's go for three, two, one. Shake it out. Let's get some jumping jacks in there. Get the blood pumping a little bit. Soft bend in the knees. Full range of motion with those hands. Get that heart rate up slightly and then we'll go into some more mobility i have you at a little lower angle today because we're going to do a lot of floor work at least half the time at least over half the time let's go for three two one shake it out out and in with those arms out and in out and in normally i say palms away on both phases you can pick today if you're like i want to hug myself keep my palms in Go for it. If you want your palms away on the back face, whatever feels good for you. Let's go for three, two, one. Shake it out. We're gonna go crossover jacks now, alternating which hand crosses over top. Here we go. Shoo. One thing I notice from watching these videos, keep that going, is I tend to lean my weight unevenly over top of one leg as I do these. Try to keep the weight even over top of both feet as you crisscross for three, Two, one, shake it out. Three tap stretch. You're gonna give me a front tap, a middle tap, a back tap, stand it all the way up, reach it side to side. Try to loosen up those hamstrings on the first three. Tap, tap, tap all the way up. Re loosen up those obliques, side abs on those last two movements. Let's go for about two to three more. Front, middle, back all the way up, reach. Try to sink a little lower each time on those first three. Get those hamstrings, reach a little further on the last two. Get those side abs for three, two, one. Shake it out, we're gonna go arm circle so you can start small. If your shoulders are tight, if you feel good, gradually get a little wider. You can have a bounce in there. That's my preference, you can be stationary. Just focus on the range of motion for the upper body. Three, two, one, shake it out. Another tendency of mine, reverse, is I tend to try to Use momentum, I use like my head, but I want you trying to hold still with the upper body, core tight, just focus on the shoulder mobility. Three, two, one, shaking it out again. We're gonna go speed skaters, get our legs a little warm. Lateral play out side to side. When you're ready, get them going back foot, can curtsy lunge. You can keep it elevated. You can tap the ground, whoo, away. Hopefully your balance is a little better than mine is today. When you jump out, Try to hold your ground. Don't let your momentum keep going, kicking you out. Let's go for about five seconds there. Shoo! It's a beautiful day today. Three, two, one. Shake it out. We're gonna hinge it forward. Rock it side to side if you can. 
Wrap those hands around towards the backs of your heels. Get a little more pull in the hamstrings, in the low back. You've got about five seconds there. Try to release, like, as I wrap to the left, I should feel a nice, good release on the right side. Vice versa. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Nice, easy jab crosses. We're going to keep a constant motion. Today, though, whenever we are striking, you are focusing on full extension, pulling the rope on the rotation. Anytime it's a jab cross, we're not focusing speed, short hits, long rotations for three, two, one, uppers and hooks, uppers and hooks. However you want to pace them, focus though. Hips, core, hone in on those things today. Three, two, one, ending with some slips. Woo. Let's add the jab cross. Jab cross, two slips. Full extension on the jab cross. Tight rotations on the slips. Pa, pa. Five, four, almost there. Three, two, hey, grab some water if you need it. Just under one minute. And then we'll go ahead and kick off round one. For round one, <laughs> you will need some type of a weight. You only need one weight because we're gonna be holding with both hands. So if your weight is a hand weight, you'll be holding it more like this. Uh, let me get the timer reset. You can grab a medicine ball, you can grab a bag of rice, whatever feels good. Again, you can grab wipes if you want. You got about 20 seconds and then gonna gear you up. So we're gonna do my form of a PALF rotation. So you're gonna extend your weight. We're gonna go one side. So if your right hip is curving in, weight is going to the left. 10 seconds, no movement with the arms. It's really this hip oblique core rotation that's kicking it out. In three, two, one. Here we go. Rotation, stick with one side. You got 30 seconds here. Hey, so what is this mimicking? When we strike, like if we're in regular stance, we throw that cross power from the hip. We're gonna build some strength there. If you're a southpaw person, building up your lead side. Woo, 12 seconds, come on. Right through, hush. It doesn't even need to be that heavy of a weight. If you're feeling your low back at all, even drop the weight. You can do it without the weight. Two more. One. I switch it up, opposite side. Try to keep it right in line with your shoulders. Kick out, A. And you don't even have to over rotate. Like, you can come just to the outside, that 90 degree. A. Slop in the knees. No locking out the legs. You got about 12 seconds there. I started you guys off on a hard one. You can literally go just hands. Whatever works for five, four, hit, three, two, one. Relax, shake it out. We're gonna work rainbows in about 10 seconds. We're gonna, when you go to the right, pivot the left heel in. When you go to the left, pivot the right heel in. Three, two, one, core, hips. I need your low core ultra tight. So if you start feeling your low back on the down face, you could be rounding at that lower lumbar. I want you to lock that core out. Let all the movement come from the hips and side core. It helps if you make your striking noises, whatever that sound might be. Mine, clearly. Yours could be a noise. Oh, hey, whatever works for three, two, one. Shake it out, drop your weight, combo. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Four slips. Hey, we just built off of that from our warm up. Here we go, get it going. Four jab crosses, four slips. What are we focusing on the jab crosses? Full extension. I'd rather have you slow down the movement, get the full extension, full power from the hips. Really tight on the slips, yeah? Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. One more set of rainbows, up and over, up and over. Or I'll let you choose, you can go rainbows or alternating. Power off rotations, A, hey. whichever one, rainbows or rotations. Whoo! Let's go for about five, core tight. Three, protect that low back. Two, one, drop it. We're going speed, upper, upper, hook, hook. Upper, upper, hook, hook. Upper, upper, hook, hook. 20 second burnout here. From the hip, from the hip, from the hip, from the hip. 15 seconds, hips, side abs, they should be burning. Let's go. Whatever stance you want. You've only got about seven seconds left. Woo. Five, 
four, come on, three, two, hey, grab some water if you need it. Woo, active recovery. We'll give our upper body core a little break if you want it. So let's go reverse lunges. Woo, nice and easy. Loosen up those hips. If you feel crazy, your legs feel okay. Cycle split lunge. You've got about 40 seconds there. Breathe, hydrate, water if you need it. <laughs> Woo. We're gonna take it to the ground in the next round. So, bring it on down. We're gonna start with around the world crunches. I'm gonna lay it on down. My feet, you still got 20 seconds. Feet can be in tabletop. You can crisscross them up and around. We're gonna switch every five, so let me get a little closer. I'm gonna go up and around five times to the left. Try to touch both elbows to both knees along the way. After the fifth one, switch it up. In three, two, one. Here we go. Try to keep the knees in place. Try to prevent the knees from pulling forward. Keep them in line with your hips. Up and around. Pull that upper body off the ground by contracting that low core, yeah? Pull, switch every five. Switch directions every five. It's almost like on that pull, you've got about 20 more seconds there. It's like we're pushing our belly button into the ground to get that upper body up and off the ground. Elbows to the knees, both elbows to both knees along the way. Five, four, almost there. Three, two, one. All right, working the reverse crunch. So lay it on down. Hands can be back, under the glutes, overhead, whatever feels good. Extend the legs, push the feet up towards the ceiling, kick it down. And down, control. Up and down. I want you to try to keep your feet in line with your hips. I've got momentum going. I don't quite have that low core strength yet, but you're thinking, I'm just gonna put my foot down so I can show you what it looks like. Straight up, straight down, control with the core. Obviously, if we got a little bit of a rock in there, the goal over time is to control it solely with our core up and down, like one straight line up. One straight line down. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Core should be burning by now. Whew. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Lay it down, feet on the ground, on my mark. Side to side, toe tap crunches. I told you this was a core burn today. In three, two, one. Let's go, reach, reach, keep reaching. So I want you to reach as far down on your feet as you can. If you need a little less distance, kick your heels in a little bit closer. If you need more of a challenge, like so, reach your hand under and across to the opposite heel. You've got about 15 seconds there. Keep reaching, you guys. Burn it out, burn it out, burn it out. Obliques, side abs. I'm the oblique freak, I have been told, because I love working those side abs. They're really important for striking. You've got three, two, one. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Back to around the world crunches in three, two, one. Feet in tabletop, up and around. Switch every two. Two to the left, two to the right. Woo! Hey, if you want, instead, reverse crunch. I'm letting you choose between the two. 10 seconds there. On my mark, keep that going. We're gonna bring it up to the balance seated position. We're going non-stop jab, cross, Russian twist. In three, two, one, here we go. If you can, feet off the ground. No worries, if your feet are on the ground, rotate, rotate, full extension. Push through that core burn, you guys. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I know, this was a tough one. Less than 10 seconds. You are almost there. Rotate, rotate, rotate. You've got three, two, one. Woo! Breathe. We're just gonna stretch on this active recovery. So roll it onto your stomachs. Push it up into Cobra, either from the forearms or from the hands. You're gonna hold it there for just a second. Get the abs to stretch out. Get them to recover. Whenever you're ready, bring it up to your feet. Grab water if you need it. You've still got like 30 seconds. Whew. Next round, we're gonna be standing. You're gonna need a weight for each hand. So I got my two weights here. If your weights are technically, if you only have one weight, that's fine. We're gonna work one hand at a time, 20 seconds. If it's your water bottle, you can always fill these up with liquid. Liquid, liquid, it's called liquid. Um, if you need to grab something, press pause. Otherwise, in 10 seconds, power shot. So we're going to work the power jab. Shh, shh, 
off the lead hip. It's not the shoulder we're using to get that hand out there. Here we go. It's that lead hip. Extend, extend, bring it back the same line. So as I extend here, bring it back on that same line. Keep that going. You've got about 20 more seconds there, 15. But when we worked these earlier, that's what I want you focusing on. Hip, sh extend, hip, extend. Three more, sh a, two. One more, sh a, shake it out. Switch your stance, jab in the opposite stance. Jabs, a, sh let's go. Sh sh after we get another drill in after this, we'll work the crosses, yeah? From that lead hip, in your opposite stance, sh I want you feeling more oblique hip flexor than shoulder, yeah? Three, two, one, shake it out. All right, we're gonna go standing side crunch. So, hands to the side. Reach as far down as you can. Let's go. Switch every three. So three to the right. Switch. Three to the left. Switch. If you only have one weight that you're using, just keep switching hands. So I want you to stay along your leg line. No leaning forward. No leaning back. Low core tight. Keep it going as I talk. Straight down that leg line. A. Push with the oblique on the same side. Pull with the opposite oblique. Push. Pull, every three, every three. 10 seconds there. Oblique should be burning. Let's go, let's go, let's go. For five, four, three, two, one. All right, both weights in hand again. We're gonna work the cross now in your regular stance. Cross, reset, cross, reset. Hey, sh hey, so from the back, fire from that back hip. Pivot that back heel in the direction of it. Keep your weight even over top of both feet. 10 seconds, hush. Hey, power shots, hips, core, obliques, side abs. Three, two, one. Switch your stance. Opposite stance, crosses, power. A, over time, like, if we can be powerful with some weight in our hands, we should be that much more powerful when we drop the weight. And it's just our hands. Ten seconds. Rotate through. A, three more. Pa, two. One, all right, drop your weights. Our burnout, hands up, 30 seconds. Non-stop slips, when I say hit it, four freestyle hits. Three, two, one, hands up, slip, slip. Hit it, one, two, three, four, A, slip. Tight slips, fast, slow, however you wanna hit it. One, two, three, four, A. Full rotation on your four freestyle hits. Hit it, one, two, three, four, A. Let's go, let's go. Hit it, pop, 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 A. Seven seconds, keep slipping. Hit it, one, two, three, four, A. Last one, three, two, hit it, A. All right, grab water if you need it. Woo. Heart rate should be up there slightly. Oblique should be burning. Water, if you want an active recovery, this time we're gonna go front lunges. Step out, push through the hill to get back. Woo. If you need a little bit of a challenge, front lunge, bring it back. RDL, switch. Kind of similar to a leg exercise we did in one of my previous leg workouts. Whoo, 30 seconds. We're gonna go back to the ground for round four. Last core round, then we'll do just like a final core challenge at the end. And then we'll get some really good stretching in there today. So lay it on down. Not lay it on down, sorry. Push up position. We're gonna walk our feet side to side. So I'm in push up position. As far as I can, walk my feet to the left. Reset, walk my feet to the right. Three, two, one, here we go. Keep your shoulders over top of your hands, yeah? Don't let the weight pull back and just walk, rotate. So as we're in this position, we're gonna rotate a little bit. Like we're gonna involve our side abs, obliques, yep. Whoo! Try to keep your neck straight. Soft blades at the ground. Neck aligned with the spine. Let's go for about 12 more seconds there. You got it, you got it. Working those obliques again on the crunch. Center core should be engaged the whole time, but on the side phases, those side abs. You got three, two, one. Relax, child's pose if you need it. 10 seconds to breathe here. Whatever stretch you need if you need it. On my mark, we're gonna go back to the push-up position. Alternating side knees. Same side knee to elbow. In three, two, 
One, push up position, same as I need elbow. Yep, if you can. So, you can rep them out. The challenge, pace, hold. Try to hold for a second or two. What are we working again? Obliques, oh my gosh. Side abs, I know I'm crazy, but I still want your shoulder over top of your hand. Don't let the weight pull back. Don't shift side to side. Upper body stays put. It's just your knees that are interchanging. Eight seconds. You're almost there. Here we go. Let's go for five, four, shoo, three, shoo, two, one. Relax. I know. I mean, we're in the push-up position pretty much this whole round. Child's pose if you need it. Arm hugs if you need them. Ten more seconds to breathe. On my mark, we're going to go to plank jacks. So high plank. Jump your feet out and in. Modification, alternating toe taps. If you want to challenge, plank the hips up and down. Yep, and three, two, one. Push up position. Either toe taps, alternate them. Plank jacks. Or add the pike, hips up and down. Are your shoulders staying over top of your hands? Because if so, Perfect, that's exactly what I want. If you feel your shoulders coming away from your hands, fight. Go a little smaller on the movements and hold the shoulder integrity over the hands. You've got five, four, let's go. Three, two, one. Relax, we're gonna end it on mountain climbers. It's already the last 20 seconds. Last stretch in five, four hips up. Three, two, mountain climbers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is a core burn. This is what I wanted. I wanted to shock that core. Push your hips up. Tighten up that low core. Hips up to the ceiling. Drive those knees. Let's go for eight more seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Last five, four. Drive them. Three, two. Hey. That was the end of your fourth round. So I just want you to push it back into child's pose. Breathe. Whew. All we have left now is a little last final core challenge. Um, grab some water if you need it. We are gonna go back to the ground. Just making sure our timer is set again. Whew. Breathing heavy, you guys. You got about 40 more seconds and then we'll kick you off. So on my mark, I'm just gonna start this right now. On my mark, we're gonna lay it on down. I love this combo. So we're gonna go 10 Russian twists, tight Russian twists this time, side to side. After the 10th one, five out in, six inch hold to the balance seated position. Try to hold each point, hold, hold. Ready? In three, two, one, 30 seconds here. 10 Russian twists. Each tap counts as one. Woo, five out in, down and up, down and up, A. On those, keep those going. 10 and five. So on the Russian twist, it's really five each side. 10 total. On the out ends, six inch hold. When you come up to that balance seated position, try to lock your spine out. So no rounding. Try to keep the spine integrity. Hey. Hey, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, breathe. You can hug your knees in. You can just lay it on out. Try to let the abs relax for just a second. On my mark, we're gonna go. So let me get a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna go, feet are just gonna be six inches from the ground. Single leg rises, one at a time. So options in five seconds, hands can be under the glutes. If you need a challenge, up overhead. Three, two, one, here we go, get it going. If you need more of a challenge, Full leg circles up, around, open up those hips, but don't let your whole body open up. So if I drop my right leg, don't open up your body to the right. Keep your shoulders flat to the ground. Only go out as far as you can, like comfortable with your hip flexibility without shifting your body at all. Otherwise, single leg raises. The goal is to have our feet about six inches from the ground, at least one foot at all times. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Relax, you can hug it in. Woo! Breathe, we are getting closer, you guys. We are so, so, so close. Oh, breathe 
out for about 10 more seconds there. On my mark, we're gonna go scissors, over, under, up and down. Scissors up, scissors down. Let's go in three, two, one. You are so close, scissor kicks. Up and down. Don't rush though, almost like a little ladder. So I went a little fast going up. It's almost like you're just placing one foot in front of the other, one foot behind the other. Woo! When you bring your feet down, no arch in the spine. I don't know if you can even see the spine the arch that I have. Belly button, push it down, keep it down. Let's go for 10 seconds. Come on, you guys, let's work today. Let's build up that core. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Relax. Hug it on in. You only have one more left. Whoo! So we're gonna end on the front plank. Yes, yes, yes. You're gonna be in the low plank from the forearms. Shoulders over top the elbows. You still have 10 seconds to breathe. On my mark, when I say hit it, you're gonna walk it up to the hands, back down to the forearms. If you want a challenge, up, up, push up, down, down. You can also go from your knees. Gearing up in three, two, one. Here we go, front plank. Woo! Hips up in line with your body or slightly higher. What I don't wanna see, you're just holding until I call it. What I don't wanna see is the hips sagging, any rounding in that low spine. Hit it up to the hands, back down to the forearms. Hold, breathe, shoulders over top of those elbows. Hit it to the hands, back down to the forearms. Hold, breathe. Again, the neck, I've been talking about this a lot. Don't let the shoulders scrunch up, push them down. Soft gaze with the head, neck in line with the rest of your spine. Hit it up to the hands, back down to the forearms. We're almost there, you guys. You've only got a few more. I need you to push through. Hit it up and down. Think of what motivates you. Why do you work out? What keeps you going every single day? Hit it up, down. You've only got two more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Seriously though, feel your mind right now. Up and down. Last one. Hold that plank. Hold, hold, hold. Are your shoulders over top of your elbows? Are your hips up in line with your body? Are you breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth? Last one. Hit it up, up, down, down. Woo, relax. Oh my goodness. That was a core burner today. You guys did it. Push your hips back into child's pose. Lengthen up those arms. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. I want you to walk both of your hands over to your right side. Walk your hands to your right side. Use your right hand to push your weight back and reach as long as you can with your left side. Our hands are to the right but you should feel a nice stretch along the left side. Try to keep your hips back over top of your feet. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just relax a little deeper into the stretch every time you exhale. In, out, one more, in, out. All right, hands over to the left now. You're gonna use your left hand this time to push your weight back. Reach as far as you can with that right hand. Breathe in and out. Your hips should be a little more relaxed by now. So really try to keep the weight back. Just reaching with that right hand. Shoulders down while we reach. We don't want them to scrunch up. Two more deep breaths in, out, whoo, in and out. Good, okay. This one is also for our hips. We did a lot of like explosiveness from the hips. We're gonna do the frog stretch. So you're gonna point your knees out. Point your toes out, breathe. You can push your hips more back, you can bring them center, or you can come more forward into the like traditional frog stretch. If you need more of a stretch, kick your heels out so that they're more in line with your knees. Breathe, in and out. We're trying to stretch the inner thigh into the groin area. A lot of our flexibility in these areas play a role in our snap. So the more flexibility you have with your muscles, the less likely you are to pull them. We never wanna hurt our muscles. We wanna take care of them. We wanna make sure we're stretching them out after every single workout. Two more deep breaths, in and out. One more. All right, slowly start to inch it forward. Stomach on the ground, straighten out those legs. 
push it up into cobra. Either option one from the forearms, option two from the hands. So right now, I want you to look up as high as you can, breathe. Whew. All right, look side to side now. Every time you exhale, try to relax a little deeper. Feel your low back relax, feel the abs stretch out. All right, looking forward, you're gonna circle your head around one direction. Up and around. Get the neck to relax, get the traps to relax, keep your shoulders back and down. Switch directions. Whew. All right, head straight. Push it back into downward, or sorry, push it back in the child's pose for just a second. We're gonna kick it right back into cobra forward. We're gonna go three deep breaths wherever you wanna place your head, in through your nose. Out, feel the abs stretch out, in, out. One more, in, and out. All right, push it back to downward dog. Try to push those heels towards the ground. You can have more of a bend in the knees. More of a straight leg version. You can cycle them your right for a little bit, then your left for a little bit. Whatever feels better. You can get real low on the bend. You can be more straight legged. You've got options. You've got about 12 more seconds there. Breathe in and out. Every time you exhale, feel the calves and the hamstrings relax just a little deeper into the stretch. Two more deep breaths in and out. One more in. And out, all right, bring it on up. Walk your hands in, stand it all the way on up because we worked a lot of obliques today. We're gonna clasp our hands up overhead. We're gonna lean it to one side. Woo, stretching out that opposite side. If you need, you can use the outside hand to grab the inside wrist. It'll add just a little more of a pull. Breathe in and out. One more, in and out. All right, switch it up. Up overhead, leaning, trying to go straight to that side. We don't want to curve forward or back, really focusing on stretching out that oblique, yeah? Woo! My goal is for one day my obliques to be as flexible <laughs> as Christian, since he like can slip way down here. I'm a little tight there, so I'm a little limited. I have to rely heavily on my pivots on those. In, one lower breath, and out, okay. Last stretch, and then we'll end it with a bow. We're just gonna hinge it forward. Woo. Hands, let them hang heavy. Head, let them hang heavy. Walk both of your hands over to one foot. Breathe. So again, if, I'm, if I have my hands to my left foot, I'm really stretching out the left glute a little bit more, but I'm also stretching out that right line into the oblique, yeah? Breathe. On every exhale, maybe try to inch your hand just a little closer to that foot. You can wrap around a little more if you have the flexibility. One more deep breath in and out. All right, hands to the opposite foot. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Stretching out that opposite glute, getting that opposite side. Breathe in and out. Woo! One more deep breath in and out. Hang at center. Rock it side to side, let the head hang heavy. Make sure those hamstrings are nice and relaxed. Stand it on up, get some blood flow in your head. Let's end it with our bow. Um, really quick before we do, uh, reminder, we've got our live classes going on. So if you have times that you would like to see those classes, let us know. These are 100% for you guys. We can make it work, like around your guys' schedules. We're just gonna base everything off of your guys' feedback. So let us know, let us know. If you like the times, let us know too. Whether you like them or you don't, let us know. And then let's see, my thing that I'm grateful for today, I don't know, most of you might know, but I have a two-year-old. She is a wild child. She has given me a run for my money for sure. But I am super grateful for like her playful spirit, you know. When you're a little kid, and you don't really know what's going on in the world and you're just worried about what you're worried about for that day, that mindset can really help us in our day. So even though you're stuck at home more or maybe just like, you know, we're, we're all quarantined, just try to find those little things that can make you happy. So if it's puzzles, coloring, whatever you enjoy doing as a kid, that's my challenge to you. Try to fit some of that into your week. 
Okay? All right, you guys. Have a good rest of your day. My name's Kylie. I'll see you guys later.